It is not Kamala's fault that far more people, a plethora of men, were willing to have sex with her voluntarily versus women had willing to have sex with Trump voluntarily. It is not her fault. It, it is what it is. And I'm bringing all this up, bro, because shout out to my Republicans out there. I fuck with y'all. Y'all know I'm basically a pseudo Republican, but I've been seeing y'all. I've been seeing all these jokes y'all making about her sexual history. Oh, she'll fuck for this position. Oh, she'll fuck for that. Wooty woo woo. I heard she gave a Pee Wee Herman some pussy back in the day. Let me say this. And I'm not a Kamala Harris fan. I've made at least about two or three videos critiquing about how she's handled things over the years. I do find it very corny that you're trying to use the sexual history of this woman to demonize her. For those who do not know what we're talking about, so her dating history is pretty much on full display. She has dated a lot of politicians, particularly those who are in the state of California. Let me say a lot, but everybody she's talked to was a notable person, which we can speak to. We can speak to that later about how a lot of y'all who are women are criticizing her clearly have never fucked dudes who are reputable dudes. And, you know, hey, if your body count was a motherfucker who worked at 7 Eleven or Rayleigh's who got one eye, hey, it is what it is. Not her fault. She got to fuck the, uh, the, the lead politician. Nope. Let me stop. Let's do it too much. I'll do it too much. But bringing all this up because. There are accusations that come with this saying that she fucked for positions of power. She made it not only as a prosecutor, but also as the deputy, deputy attorney general in the state of California. I don't know if that involved her taking three dudes behind a 7-Eleven over in Fresno, California and sucking all day dicks for her to get that spot. I doubt it. But I have to imagine that you have some level of comp co mental comprehension and your ap aptitude in your job to get that. I get annoyed with these. First off, let me just say this. Because a lot of y'all have never been, I guess, attractive enough for somebody to meet you at work and want to fuck you. Most women, typically, at least from my experience, tend to meet and date people that they work with. When you are talking about people who are in their really set foundational career, so for example, you're talking about people who are genuine, hey, I'm going to be a nurse for 30 years, hey, I'm going to be a politician for 30, 40 years. They tend to all date in the same dating pool. The nurse, either the nurse at the hospital, either the nurse at Kaiser dating, marrying the doctor, or he fucking all of her and her friends. He might choose in between which one he want. It is what it is. The same thing with politicians. They date, they, they meet. This is the reason why most of the couples that you see who are president, besides Trump and a few other ones, they usually are dating people who worked in politics or something to that effect. Did she fuck for power? Who knows? I don't, I, I who knows? I even, even if that... This speaks to, this is why I'm saying this, this speaks to why a lot of women do not like to bring up their sexual history or be honest about their sexual history. This is the equivalent of when you meet a woman who, when you ask her what her body count is, I'm talking about years down the line, don't ask this shit when you just met her, and she say 